Welcome everyone, I'm Davey, where on my channel I do all things simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking. And today I am in my kitchen going to share with you what I did to make my spice cabinet more streamlined and workable for me in an accessible manner that looks good and isn't just a hodgepodge of different plastic spice containers. So I am going to share with you how I did this little renovation. I did not film the process. I'm just going to share with you the products I used to um, store my spices. And I do have to apologize. Our kitchen is under renovation right now. Our countertops are off and backsplash. So it doesn't look the greatest behind me. But hey, it's about the spice cabinet, right? Not the countertops and backsplash, which will be another video coming up probably in the next week or two. Anyways, so for this project, what I first did was paint my spice cabinet on the inside white. They were brown, and I just made it look cleaner with a crisp white using paint I had left over. And I found some spice jars on Amazon. I looked for a long time and finally found these ones that I thought would work well. The spice jars have a little orange clip tops um, canister seal. And so they flip off and stay connected. So they're really nice. And the Amazon affiliate link is down in the bottom if you want to go check that out. Um, very affordable pricing for the size and amount you get. And then I also found a thrifted little box that I used. Um, if you saw my last thrift haul, you saw where I got that little box from. And I flipped it upside down to put different jars on. So then I have a varied height in my spice cabinet which is really nice because then you can see what you have. Um, what I also did too with my spice jars, I used a dry erase marker and just wrote on there what item and what spices are on there. I'm not sure I really like that because they do wipe off too easily actually. But if you have some ideas of what type of a marker I could use, that'd be great. I don't want to use like a chalk label um, just because that gets a little messy. I want it more like clear and... Uh, very see-through still so if you have some ideas comment below with that I also just rearranged how I did my spices so on the first drawer first level I have um, my more common cooking spices so down here like my Italian spices and then up on the top part are more my um, spicy spices I guess you'd say then up on this part on the second shelf I have more of my fall spices so like pumpkin and allspice nutmeg cinnamon and the very top are like my baking ingredients so like baking soda baking powder vanilla and i just use mason jars for those because i needed a little bit bigger items to put my spices in and products for that so it was a really simple diy um and redo it looks great to me i like it anyways so that's the thing too you got to do something that you like if you don't like the flip top canisters find ones that shake um i do have a few that do not match but i'm okay with that and also my salt and pepper shakers they are homemade that my husband made. They're the little Coke ones. I do have glass ones too, but hey, we use them. They're really cute, really easy. Uh, I'll just show you here. So these are actually handmade that my husband made from one of my grandpa's products. And it has like the P on the top for the pepper. Um, and it's a cork bottom, so you just fill it that way. But these are fun, and it's always a good story to share how my husband made those when I have company over. So kind of a fun little thing. So everything doesn't always have to match. It just needs to be something that you like. I did also put a command hook here to put my um, tablespoon, teaspoon on that. And I plan to put my measuring cups up here. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for clicking on it to watch my spice cabinet makeover. Don't forget to check out that Amazon affiliate link if you want to look at those. So anyways, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button. Like I said, I do a lot of DIYs, homemaking, and thrifted and simple living. And I make two to three videos a week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. And I will talk with you in the next one. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.